I am Usha Pathak, elders. Please accept my respect and love to youngers. Today, I want to say something about adverb. An adverb is a word added to a verb, a participle, an adjective, or an other adverb, and generally expresses time place, degree, or manner, as they are now here, studying very diligently. An adverb qualifies a verb, a preposition, a conjunction, an adjective, or another adverb. Preposition. The bird flew exactly over the sleeper's head. He paid the money quite up to date. His abilities are decidedly above the average. He was sitting almost outside the door. He arrived long before the time. He held his hand partly on and partly off the table. Conjunctions a man is truly happy only when he is sound health. I dislike this weather simply because the air is too hot. I wish to know precisely how it happened. They locked the door shortly before the thieves came. The watch was found long after the thieves had been caught. He has been ill ever since he left us. If for an adverb proper, we substitute an adverbial phrase, we find that such a phrase can qualify a preposition or a conjunction in the same way as an adverb proper does. Preposition. He arrived a few hours after midnight. Conjunction. He recovered 10 days after he had been taken ill. An adverb can also qualify an entire sentence. In this case, it must stand first. Unfortunately, the thief was not caught. Evidently, you were much distressed at the news. We could rewrite this sentence in the following form. It is unfortunate that the thief was not caught. It was evident that you were much distressed. Adverbs do not qualify nouns or pronouns. This is the work of adjectives. The apparent exceptions to the above rule can all be explained. I am sincerely yours. That book is certainly mine. Here the words yours and mine are the possessive form of you and I and are therefore equivalent to adjectives. A by path, a for taste, an out house. Here the adverbs do not qualify the several nouns but are compounded with them. So, that each compound makes a single word. In the following examples, the adverb that precedes the noun does not qualify the noun, but some participle or adjective understood. For example, the then king, the king then reigning, the late king, the king lately reigning, the above account, the account given above, a far country, a country far distant, 
an up male an up going male in the following examples the adverb almost or quite does not qualify the noun drunkard but the verb is he is almost or quite a drunkard to say he is an almost or a quite drunkard would be incorrect a solvently practice is springing up however by which the adverb quite is made to qualify nouns quite a panic a serious panic was caused they had quite a run a long run of ill luck adverbs briefly expresses what would otherwise require several words as now for at this time here for in this place very for in a high degree diligently for in an industrious manner thus the meaning of almost any adverb may be explained by some phrases beginning with a preposition and ending with a noun there are several customary combinations of short words which are used adverbially and which some grammarians do not analyze in praising as not at all at length in fine in full at least at present at once this once in vain no doubt on board but all words that convey distinct ideas and rightly retain their individuality ought to be taken separately in parsing with the liberty of supposing a few ellipses an ingenious parser will seldom find occasion to speak of adverbial phrases in this instance length doubt fine and bold are unconsciously nouns ons to is used as a noun full and all may be passed either as nouns or as adjectives whose nouns are understood at least is at the least major at present is at the present time and in vain is in a vain course or manner a phrase is a combination of two or more separable parts of a speech the parsing of which of course implies their separation and though the division of our language into words and the division of its words into parts of a speech have never yet been made exactly to correspond it is certainly desirable to bring them as near together as possible hence such terms as everywhere anywhere nowadays for ever ever so today tomorrow by and by inside out upside down if they are to be passed simply as adverbs ought to be compounded and not written as phrases under nearly all the different classes of words some particular instances may be quoted in which other parts of his speech seems to take the nature of adverbs so 
as either to become such or to be apparently used for them please subscribe my channel like and share with your friends